from the coast to the capital to Tupelo and beyond, this is Mississippi in a minute. Don't pigeonhole Mississippi. We export more than cotton and catfish. American Idol is back, and so far Mississippians have at least one singer to root for. As Chad Letterman reports in Brookhaven's Daily Leader, Jacqueline Dupree of Summit received a yellow ticket to Hollywood after auditioning in New Orleans. Meanwhile, the Atlanta History Center is preparing for an exhibit of newly printed and framed Eudora Welty photographs. The renowned author captured the people and places of 1930s Mississippi while working as a publicity agent for the WPA. She called them snapshots. Others consider her one of America's great photographers. And tonight's Showtime begins airing Mississippi Damned, which is based on a true story of three black kids in rural Mississippi who reap the consequences of their family's cycle of abuse, addiction, and violence. The film has won more than 10 film festival awards. And at the Sundance Film Festival, the documentary Hot Coffee debuted. It focuses on the famous McDonald's lawsuit and on former Mississippi Supreme Court Justice Oliver Diaz's successful fight to clear his name of criminal charges. Hot Coffee is about the battle over tort reform. And San Diego will be home to the William P. Lawrence, a guided missile destroyer that successfully underwent super trials last week in the Gulf. The warship was built on the coast at Northrop Grumman. Thanks to Melanie Christopher.tv, that's Mississippi in a Minute.